In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between intramolecular forces and intermolecular forces. So, intra versus intermolecular forces. And these are two concepts that most people tend to to confuse and they're not the same thing. So intermolecular forces are what's called the backbone of the molecule. Basically they're just bonds. So another name for intermolecular forces is just a bond. Which means, going back to what we've talked about in, the, in previous videos, there are three types of intermolecular forces. There's ionic bonds, polar covalent, and non-polar covalent. So when you think about intramolecular forces, you could just think of what holds the molecule together. So like, what holds these two carbons together? And that's a bond, that's an intramolecular force. Whereas, we could just have two carbons just as atoms outside with no intramolecular forces. So just like, two atoms. And a good way, a good example to think of this is also the human body. When you think of the human body, what holds us as individuals together is as, as a person with shape, you just say, are bones and muscles. So, again, intramolecular forces, intra is just what holds us or in chemistry it just, it just holds molecules now intermolecular forces are something a little bit more complicated Not really complicated, but different. So I'll write a definition first. So they are attractive forces. Let me fix that. Uh, sorry. Attractive. I'm not sure if that's better. Forces. Which. Allow. Separate keywords separate particles to stick together so the most important word here is separate that's what separates intermolecular forces and from intermolecular forces that is the main difference so, there are many different intermolecular forces, which I will talk about in detail in the following video. But I just wanted to, to separate like the two concepts from each other so you don't confuse. Just to give you an example for you to visualize it better. Um, let's say you have a carbon that has four hydrogens. And then you have a separate molecule, let's say a carbon again, that has an oxygen here and some, let's just say, uh, let's just say X, whatever. Two other things. And so we have two separate, two separate molecules. This is one, this is two. And what happens in an intermolecular force is that there will be an attractive force between 
these two. So there will be a force between the hydrogen in this case and the oxygen that's called a hydrogen bond but it's actually not an intermolecular force it's not a bond although its name says bond this may have not been the best example but this this is not a bond that's why it's a it's just dots you, you cannot put it as well as a bond between them it's not an it's not an actual bond it's just the name of it of the inter, inter intermolecular force is a hydrogen bond just to give you another example so you don't just get confused let's say you have an ion mm, let's go with sodium and you just have an oxygen or just water here and there will be a force we have again two separate molecules there will be an attractive force between these two creating an like an attraction an intermolecular force that in this case is called an ion dipole force so as you can see it's not a bond between them this this is not like like this it's just an attractive force so you have to you have to make sure you don't confuse it with a bond it's not like a covalent bond or an ionic bond it's an ion dipole attraction it's just an attraction between two different molecules and well that's just the difference between inter intermolecular forces and intramolecular forces and as always if you found the video helpful like it and share it with your friends